Okay, our goal is to program the internal hardware memory of the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum keyboard. You would think it would be easy, but there's no user manual anywhere in sight. It has an awkward and non-intuitive user interface, and despite the thousands of web guides and YouTube videos, it's far from clear how to do it. I couldn't figure it out, so I just jammed my way through it, and this is what I came up with. So hopefully it will help. What we want to do is very simple. We want to just set three LED lighting profiles to our tastes into the keyboard so that we can just press this button up here three times in succession and cycle through them to pick the one we want. Of course, you can also press the brightness button to adjust the brightness as well. All of this will be done without the Q IQ software for, that comes for the keyboard running either up on the screen or in the background. So first, we want to make sure we understand the difference. You have a hardware mode and a software mode. When you're in the hardware mode, which is what we're going for, the IQ software is not running. It's not on the screen and it's not in the background. It's nowhere in sight. You're just running off the three onboard profiles for LED lighting that you've put in. When you're in software mode, the software has got active control of the keyboard and it'll show whatever you want from the software. And there are a lot of cool things you can do and it's perfectly sane to have it in software mode and do all the things. There's thousands of YouTube videos on what you can do. But if you're particular like me and you don't want the software running and you just want to work off the three inside profiles, then this is how you're going to do it. Okay, I've got the IQ software running. First thing you want to do is select your keyboard right here under the devices list. I only have the keyboard. You might have a mouse or some other items. Just left click that. And then first thing I would do if you've been messing around is just clean out the three that are in there. Probably don't have to do this, but this is how I like to do it. So we'll click on onboard profiles and there's your three slots that you have in the keyboard. Slot one, slot two, slot three. And we're going to clear those out and get them ready for our new three that we're going to put in there. Left click and say clear and OK to confirm. And it will delete that and now I have an empty slot to work with. I will repeat that for number two. Left click clear, OK, and it's clear, empty. Number three, clear, OK. All right, now I have three empty slots to start fresh from. Now we'll click Profiles. And there are three profiles here that will go in the slots. HW1 for Hardware 1, HW2, HW3. You might have some other profiles down here. These are software profiles that were created with software effects. And they will become active when you click on them and light up your keyboard. But those disappear when the Q software, IQ software is stopped. So we only care about these three right now because that's what we're focusing on. So we'll start with HW1. You will click on hardware lighting. This is the only thing we need to worry about. All this other stuff, we don't care. Hardware lighting for HW1. And if you have something in here already, just delete that. Delete it so you can start fresh. You have a fresh empty list here. And now say plus right here on this little plus sign. And you can pick one of the menu items. There's a bunch of different lighting effects, etc. I'm just going to pick a static color and light up my whole keyboard with one color. I like this light blue color. So it just lights up my keyboard for everyday use. And it even says right here, hardware lighting effects need to be saved to the device and are active when IQ is not running. And that's our goal. That's all I'm going to do for HW1, so I'm done there. I'm going to go back to Profiles and pick HW2 and go to Hardware Lighting. And I'm just going to delete whatever mess is there and start over. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And first I'm going to light up my keyboard in yellow. I'd like to have all the keys be yellow. So the whole keyboard's yellow. I'm going to pick another static color by hitting the plus sign again. And this time I'm going to make it green. And it's a little bit odd of an interface. When you click on that green, it lights up the whole keyboard green now. And you say, what happened to the yellow? It builds it in layers. So the green's on top of the yellow. 
the yellow's under there still. And somewhat oddly, if I click this W, then I only have the, the green lit up W on top of the yellow. It's kind of weird, but it works. I'm going to take W, A, S, D. I have to hold down control, sorry. I hold down the control while I'm clicking those four. And now I have my movement keys for first person shooter. I'm going to make another color now. I click the plus sign. I'm going to click this purple maybe. And I'm going to make the F. That's my use key. Some people use E or whatever. I like F. And I'm going to make the escape key be purple as well. Now I'm going to hold down control so I can get the second purple there. That's good. I'm going to click the plus again and take another color. I'm going to make this one red and I'm going to put it on H. That's what I use for health or med kit or whatever. So I'll just make that be red. And then I'll pick another color. I'll make this blue. And I'm just going to make these function keys up here be blue. I'm going to hit one and then hold down control. And if you hold down the control key, you can do a little bit of a drag and drop or a drag and grab type of thing and highlight a bunch of them if you want to do it that way so you can get different areas of the keyboard. Now I have my layout with the green and the purple and the red. And that's all that you can do with the hardware profiles is put five colors in. So there's no use trying to click here anymore. It tells you right here. You get five static colors, and that's all you're going to get. So you have to make do with that. If you want something fancier with all sorts of colors all over the place, you've got to use a software profile. So I'm done with number two. I'm going to go back to profiles, and I'm going to highlight number three here and go to hardware lighting. I don't really have a particular need for a third one, so I'm just going to put in a show that I can select just to have the keyboard look fancy if anybody wants to see it. I pick Spiral Rainbow. You can pick one of these others and you have a decent list. Not everything that you can do in software, but all this stuff. And that's it. So I've set my three hardware profiles. I'm going to put them in the keyboard and get it done. Now we'll do that by going first to Profiles. And this is the key. You've got to select the first one first, HW1, up here. Then you go to Onboard Profiles. Then you click on Slot 1. And it'll tell you right here, Save K95P HW1. That's the one you've got highlighted into that slot. Save. And we'll put it in there. Now you go back to Profiles. Select number 2. Back to Onboard Profiles. Click Slot 2. Save KHW2. In here, yes please, and puts that in. That one takes a little bit longer. It's, it's got more colors. Back up to profiles. Pick HW3, back down to onboard profiles. Click on the last empty slot, put HW3 in there, yes. And you're done. You've got them in there and it will work once you exit the software. Before you do that, make sure in the settings that you have it set up so that it does not start when Windows starts. Right here, start on system startup. Uncheck that or this software will always be running in the background. Okay, so that's already unchecked here. Now I can exit the software and I'm done. Now, one of the annoying things about the IQ software, depending on your point of view, is that when you close it, it still will be running in the background. I guess that's okay if you want to be in a software mode and have it lighting up your keyboard with all sorts of effects that the software mode offers you. But if you want to be in hardware mode, you want it shut off entirely, just make sure you go down to your system tray and right click it, right click the icon for the IQ software and make it quit. Now it won't be running anywhere 
You won't be exerting any control over your keyboard with software and you can just press those hardware buttons and you're done.